Good afternoon. It is Food Fridays, and I am I Bring It Every Day. And welcome in. Yay! <laughs> How's everybody doing? See some people in the chat? Yay! Thank you so much for coming. All right, let's go back to the chat. Wonderful. So anyway, we've got... Okay, Moses. Nice. Hello. All right, so we got to sing the song for Rose. <laughs> you move this over. Oh, hold that, Moses. That's falling over. You got to put something on top of there. Yep. Yep. Keep your hubby happy. Keep your hubby happy. If he's a little chubby, he's the happy pappy with rock and spiel. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to do it. <laughs> okay, so it's one of those days. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes. And then Michelle. It's that kind of Friday. It's one of those days. <laughs> Ah, yes. So anyway, thank you so much for coming over. Yes. All right. So anyway, I just wanted to um, take the beginning of the uh, show and I'm going to do it at the end as well. Just to thank everyone who has supported the channel. Because without you guys, I wouldn't be here. You know what I mean? Yes. So anyway, so I'm going to run the video again. And if you missed the very, very beginning, I just thanked everybody who gave me a super chat, a super sticker and who actually uh, was and is a member. So sweet. So anyway, we got that. <laughs> so okay, welcome in, Nan Michelle. Always a pleasure. We have Pammy. Pam, be creative crafts. Good to see you. Yes. And there's Maura, mindfully crocheted. Squirrel rape. Oh, yard barf is here. Hey, Christy. Good to see you. I have a lot of, oh, this, this looks pretty bad here. I got to cover that up. But anyway, this is all my spices here. <laughs> so I, I have everything cut up. And, uh, oh, you're welcome. Hold on. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> and then we have VJ Squirrel Ray. Nice. And we have the Crochet Queen. Good to see you. Oh, joy, Joy's in the ads. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I appreciate you sticking it out. I, know, I don't even know what, what ads there are there. Oh, look at Granny Pam. Hello. Long time no see. Good to see you. And see, we missed. Who did I miss? I got China. There we go. China the Crochet Queen. Welcome. Yes, give me the thumbs up. Oh, you're at work. Oh, sh yeah. <laughs> okay. I appreciate you popping in. I know that's hard over there. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see. And uh, hello, ladies. You sound like that guy. Brock. No, no, no. Yeah, Brock. Yeah, Brock from the Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. yeah, ladies. Hello, ladies. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. <laughs> Ew. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, and then VJ. <laughs> there we go. I miss VJ. I knew one of somebody jumped. There we go. There's VJ. Sweet. <laughs> Joe. Nope. I think she's, I think my, my, this thing is slow. Yeah. She's way at the bottom. There we go. Joy. And, we, and we have Joy. Yeah, Joy was in Joy. the ads, right? Joy Joe and Kim G. Kim G. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> it is Joy. Good to see you. Ola Joe. Nice. Oh, watch the ads. Was it boring? <laughs> yeah, it just like. I have no idea what ads I As like. you were doing the intro, just the ads were popping up. So I'm just like, really? Yeah, that's what they do now. Uh, I know we have no control. So, so you, we, you know. And the thanks, for, thanks for the thumbs up. Well, I'll show it again. I'll show it in between. We got Lydia. Yarnverse by Lydia, Nanan. Hi, Kelly, and everyone in the chat. Okay, so today is Fish Taco Day, which this will take all of five minutes, hopefully. Not five. It'll probably be like maybe 20 minutes if I do this right. <laughs> So we'll see what happens. So anyway, is anybody into fish tacos? You know, it's funny. I, I'm not a fan, but it's okay. You know, like, I guess for a different change, you know, we, we need to do that. So let me slide him over this way. There we go. So anyway, in here, I have some guacamole. and Not guacamole. We have cut up avocados. So we cut everything up. We had this avocado that we bought, and I forgot that to eat it. And so it gets really, really ripe. So this is going to be guacamole if this doesn't work out with the fish taco. I think mm -hmm. there's way too much. But anyway, we have a lot of avocado cut it cut up in there. It's hard to see because we have this red top. Mm. But there's a lot. It's one of those really large avocados. Um, it's not the Haas, but the other one. And and uh, if any of you guys were in the uh, live streams early, early in the season when we started this, um, the Spanish people eat this avocado that's almost the size of a an eggplant, really. And it's a different... Uh, species or whatever of avocado. And usually we get these little small, those Haas avocados. I'm not a fan because when they when they get too ripe, they turn black 
and then the inside is black, whereas these larger ones don't seem to have that problem. So yeah, so we like the larger ones. And so even though we had it sitting on the counter for way too many, <laughs> you say <laughs> you're not a fish fan. I know that's what Lydia told me earlier. I said, yeah, well, see, you're landlocked, Lydia, in my opinion. And so I'm, and so are we sort of, kind of, like we're not near water. So the people that are on the ocean get better seafood than people who are landlocked. So Pennsylvania's landlocked, kind of. We have rivers, but we don't have like ocean. Wait, you know what I mean? We have to go to New Jersey or whatever. So, oh, Pixie Stitch, good to see you. <laughs> so anyway, so so that's why fish is yucky. So anyway, when I was growing up, they had a fish store, you know, downtown. You go downtown, you go get your fish. And it smelled horrible. And I said, and then later on when the Food Network came out, they were saying fish should never stink. So if you get fish that is stinky, then it's bad. <laughs> and so clearly we've been eating kind of bad fish for years. Didn't even know it. So anyway, so I would suggest um, anybody who is thinking about doing these fish tacos, basically, and I'm going to have to type the recipe. There's not really a recipe. In my opinion, you just sort of put what you want in there, but you want to use white fish. So what, what we did was we went to the store and we said, okay, who has the cheapest white fish that looks good? Now, my husband's family eats a lot of cod, mm -hmm. and um, but I think cod is salty. That's my mm -hmm. only little, eh, like, and so they eat it with uh, mashed potatoes. I like salt. Well, everybody likes salt, but oh, you really like salt. but I think it's so salty <laughs> that I like I like I eat it. And I'm like at the end of the night, like I need you know a gallon of water. So I got haddock. So haddock was nine ninety nine. You got four pretty big pieces, and I think it was a pound. So that wasn't bad. And uh, everything else was like between eleven and like thirteen ninety nine, depending on it what what it was. And so my husband wanted to get crab, and I was like <laughs> crab meat is a delicacy now. Like, forget about it. Like, we cannot afford it. It's too much. Um, so anyway, but I think it was $25 a can for the cheap, for uh, the, the claw um, lump crab meat in a can. It was canned. It's crazy. So seafood is crazy. I don't know how people eat it. That's, uh, that's why I'm very happy that I don't eat a lot of it because I'd be mad. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, oh, same. You're not a fish fan. Let's see. Oh, okay. You said 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, I know. Oh, yes. Oh, was, was it one of those dog ads where like, uh, what's her name was singing the, and it's real sad and it's dogs. Yeah. I don't know which, which ad that is, but anyway, <laughs> you're going to get something to eat or you're not feeling well. Okay. We'll rest up. Yep. I understand. Everyone's saying hi. Okay. So let's see. Did I miss anything? Not a fish fan. Pixie Stitch. Hello. You had an ad blocker. Ooh, made me shut it off. <laughs> I love it. YouTube. They are a little, they were a little, what's the word? Rigid. <laughs> they're kind of rigid with their rules. It's crazy. Granny D, hello. Oh, and it doesn't like it. Ugh, it's not working. Okay. Well, I tried to do this little commercial. I'm going to have to do Nightbot. So anyway, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run everybody's name in the banner. You like avocados. Yeah. Cause Nightbot's acting weird. And I think I, I did a bad thing. Oh, you grew up in San Diego and you still hate fish, Bonnie. Good to see you. <laughs> and we got Margaret G. Make sure I got you. Yep. Oh, love pan fried walleye. Okay. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to pan fry it just to make it firm. And then we have Laura. Good to see you. Oh yeah. It's hating it. I'm going to have to change this. You never had a fish taco. So all the restaurants around here do fish tacos. And that's what they do. It's really interesting. They do regular tacos, but they do fish tacos. And I guess all the uh, healthy people eat those. Oh, you're in PA also. Oh, right. Yeah. No, no fresh fish. So you're in PA. Oh, okay. Good to know. Smoked white fish. That's really good. Now my friend loves that. Oh man. One of my friends tears that up. Tilapia. Okay. So here's my thing. Um, I want you to think about this. <laughs> so tilapia is kind of a bottom feeder. It's, it's a farmed fish. And they put them in these like uh, tanks, sort of like a fish tank that you would get for your, you know, your regular fish. And they're supposed to give them uh, oxygen, but they don't. Or, you know, they're supposed to like move the water around. So anyway, it's sort of like they're swimming around in their own stuff. And so um, you got to be careful with tilapia <laughs> or anything that's a bomb feeder. So, and we'll get back to that later. Steve-O, good to see you. Thanks for coming. 
and you like smoked. Oh, lox. Yes, I love that too. That is delicious. Hold on, let me just make sure. I forgot to turn this on. i to turn one thing on here. <clears throat> okay, but let me go back to my little screen here. So anyway, yeah, so that's what we're up to. You know what I mean? Oh, my one window closed. No. <laughs> All right. I'll have to, I'll get to that later. Okay. So anyway, so that's where we are. And that's why, it, and you buy frozen fish. Yes. Okay. So that's what Nana Michelle, I figured she did. And, uh, and so what, so that's what they do. They freeze it as soon as it's caught. So it's fairly fresh. You know, it sort of tastes like what it would be if you had it. Yeah. And uh, everyone's saying hey to Steve-O. Oh, see, she's in Alaska, Pixie Stitch. Okay, our neighbor gave us fresh fresh caught Alaskan salmon mm, a few weeks good. ago, just cooked it up. Very simply, it was the best. Yes, when it's that fresh, it's yummy. Yummy, yummy. And uh, let's see, I grew up eating lox and bagels. Yes. All right. Yeah, that's good stuff. And you soak the fish in some milk, it won't be fishy. Right. But like I said, the reason why our stuff was fishy was because it was old, <laughs> which is like, ugh. yeah, yucky, 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 yucky. Yes. Hello. She's in Norway. She grew up by the ocean. Yeah. So she got real fish. So anyway, I don't know if you can see this here. Let me get it up to the screen here. But this is just some haddock. And all I did was I just uh, washed it off and I'm letting it sort of uh, dry off because uh, when, when you defrost the fish, it's a little bit wet. So you want to sort of get as much of that liquid out. You love any fake thing fish. Okay. Rose upon rose. One saying, hey. Yeah. Oh, you love salmon. I know I love salmon too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Any way it's made. I got you. Smokes it on his fancy grill. Nice. Sushi rolls. And yes, and you're you're I know you're in Norway. Good for you. Yeah, that's awesome. You love the oh, you live by the three big lakes now. Oh, she still doesn't like that. <laughs> that's the that's the irony of it. All right, Bonnie. All right, we're gonna have to put you in the corner. <laughs> Oh, you lucky thing. I know it's pretty over there. I'm trying to, I'm trying to move in with Bonnie. So that's my favorite old Joe on my birthday. I would get smoked locks on a bagel and thin sliced tomato and I would be heaven. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Nightbot's not working. Yeah. I, I'm going to have to turn it off, which is terrible. But anyway, but we'll, we'll fix it. We'll get you. Yeah. Nightbot's doing a weird thing. See, mm -hmm. I tried to be cute and do something and it's not working. So I'm going to have to fix it real quick. But uh, we apparently had a party, and uh, all that fish was caught by her brother. Oh, man. That's awesome. Fish all right. And lobster. And lobster. Yeah, <gasps> crab. And crab? Yeah. Wow. That's great. I think we want to go to Norway now. I think we're going to Norway. <laughs> Where's the place where they have the uh, the springs? Somewhere in Scandinavia. One of those countries, they have the, the hot springs. I want to go in there. That's what I want to do. I've heard so many nice things about it. So this is going to be, hopefully this won't make a loud noise. It's, it's might be Iceland. Yep, there yeah, it is. I'll it might be Iceland. There, but there's a, there's a few countries that have that. Yeah, but that's a, but they definitely have some serious uh, Iceland, things here. Norway. Yep. Okay. Uh, All right. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to fix Nightbot real quick here. I'm going to turn on the banners. Let me do that. Hello. Let me fix this. Not, not the end. Then. Not the end. Good to see you. Let me do this. Put the banner on. Oh, so these sorry. so these are all the members on my channel. I want to make sure you see your names. Because, yeah, Nightbot, I think I'm going to have to take this. It's doing some weird stuff. It's been doing some weird stuff for like a week. So I'm going to turn it off for the moment. Simone's in. Oh, hey. Arnie's in. Arnie's in. Thank and you for. Janine. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, let me just take this off. I'm going to turn this off. I almost made a mistake. I said Samoa Joe's in. Did you say Samoa Joe? <laughs> yeah. Like the wrestling. Like the the wrestling. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. <laughs> Samoa Joe. <laughs> My new wrestler. That is funny. All right, so I'm going to part the channel just for now. He will have to do it. Bye-bye, Nightbot. <laughs> but anyway, everybody who has um, helped out on the channel, I'm sort of scrolling down there. and there's There's members and... Super stickers and things like yeah. that. So that's good. So we'll do that. Because I'm like, at this point, I'm, this has been, I've been fighting this thing all week. <laughs> so anyway, so what I'm going to just do now with the fish front, make sure I got this on. I'm just going to heat the pan. So I'm using this stainless steel pan, as you can see. Very nice. Let me grab some gloves. Yeah. And remember that thing that we talked about last week with the, with the juices. So you want to make sure that you um, 
not cross contaminate any of the like the poultry juices, the fish juices with whatever you're working on. So, so anyway, so well, all I'm going to do is I'm just seasoning. So the the fish taco recipe that a lot of the restaurants give, and I'm going to have to get back to the chat because I just want to at least get the fish going. Because really, after once once we once we cook the fish, it's basically done, <laughs> and then you sort of just add whatever you want. So a lot of these, um, a lot of these recipes, they just have sort of a hot, a hot seasoning. So they put um, chili powder, paprika. So it's whatever how hot you want it to be. A little bit of garlic. So you just sort of work in whatever you want to use, and that's the, that's the thing I would suggest is just work in whatever you want. And um, and this and that's what I'm doing. So I'm heating the pan just so it gets warm, and I'm just seasoning it just the fish on, on its own. And I'm going to put a little bit of batter, but not much. I'm not a big batter fan. I'm just putting a little bit of flour. So I'm just going to dredge it through some flour. And that's all we're going to do. And then we're just going to fry it. And hopefully it doesn't do anything crazy and burn. So here's a little bit of flour. Then I'm just going to get a teaspoon and just <coughs> spoon this out. Jenny said, I'll uh, double that, uh, double that it. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I'll double that it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> so I'm just putting a little bit of... Uh, just a little bit of flour in here. Oh, Angie's treasures. Oh, good to see you, Miss Angie. Wonderful. So, like I said, we're doing we're doing the we're doing the tacos. So we'll see how this goes. And then, um, and then, like I said, everybody's names are going across the bottom. And then I'll I'll have to tweak Nightbot because I think we're going to spend a lot more time talking <laughs> by the time this all gets done. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Now I, I might need you to open this if you can. You may, it may be hard, but if not, I'll have to grab the other one. I forgot to bring out the oil. You just got to get the little one. Yeah. See, that, that's that's one of those fancy olive oils where it's got a weird, it's almost, it almost looks like wine. But let's see, everyone's saying hi. Yes, Haddock. Yep. BJ, you know work cramps my style. <laughs> it does. It does. Oh, my gosh. All right, come on, glove. These gloves are like, no, not. Okay, Simone Watchman. So how are you doing? He wasn't feeling well the other day. I know everybody's been getting like, I won't say sick, but you know, there's just like a lot of stuff going on. So I'm just seasoning the flour, putting a little bit of cayenne pepper, putting a little bit of turmeric in here. Um, my husband, you know, has, uh, they say turmeric's good for what? Inflammation. Yep. Yeah, any kind of pain. So they're saying, and this one I got from Ollie's of all places. Looks like a pretty good turmeric. I don't know if you can see that there. But I'm just adding it to the uh, flour. Just shake it a little bit in there. And then uh, a little bit of garlic I'll do. And then that's it. So you just put whatever seasoning you like, you know. Mm. And a little bit of salt and pepper. Uh, Lydia just sent you a oh, super sticker? Yes. Let me see. Oh, there it is. Okay. Thank you, Lydia. Oh, there it is. It just popped up on the screen. I'll stick it on there real quick. Thanks, Lydia. Oh, is oh he's been fasting. So, <laughs> wow. Yeah, that'll uh, that'll wow. do it to you. Now I can't remember all the words, but here it goes. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Let's see. I don't remember this. If you threw a party, invited everyone you knew. You would be in the best gift would be from me. And the card attached would say, thank you for being a friend. There we go. I remembered it. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We're getting there. <laughs> Thanks, Lydia. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So I'm going to dredge the flour. Oh, let me get the little bit of oil here. I'm going to dredge the flour. And I'm just going to cook the fish so that it's cooked all the way through. And fish doesn't take a long time because it's uh, pretty thin. I mean, I could have cut this a little bit smaller, and maybe I will. But I'm just going to dredge it through the flour and just cut it. But you see these pieces here are pretty, you know, like I said, this, the piece is not real big. It's kind of like on the line. So I'm just going to cut some pieces. You just want a, a piece just to go into the, uh, and I'm just dredging this through the flour. Let's see. Yep, they can see above. Oh, you know what I should do, darn it. What? I got to make the picture bigger, but I can't. I got to take this off. Hold on. I always forget to do this. Make this one bigger. Let's do that one. 
and then switch. There we go. Then this you can see better. Fish is a bomb with rice and soy sauce. Yes, yes. <laughs> there it is. That's better. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get her to make some uh, tuna rolls for me, Dave. Yeah, it's going to take for it. I am the worst at um, whatever. The, what's that called? I am the worst at rolling sushi. Like, it's really hard. Oh, man, they got tools for that now. You don't even got to do it. I am terrible at it. Really bad. I, I made sushi one time with my daughter, and we could not get that thing to roll tight enough. You know what I mean? <laughs> now they got like a little tube. Yeah, well, no, we had that, but we... No, no, you, we had the, the little bamboo mat. We had the little bamboo mat, but we were yeah. terrible at it. It just was... Yeah. It was embarrassingly bad. Like, I can't believe how bad it was. <laughs> like, I was like, boo! Like, if... <laughs> uh, and plus, it's like... It's, you, it's, 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 it's supposed to be what, Dale Rice? No. Is, no, it's is, just... No, no, Dale Rice is for... um. Fried rice. Fried rice, yeah. No, it is. I gotta look it up. No, no, no. It's it's no what it is. There's sushi rice, and sushi rice is real sticky. Jimmy said she has a key for that. <laughs> yeah, but sushi rice is very, 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 very sticky. And it's smaller than regular rice that you eat, like with um Chinese food. I wish you try it for next week. Well, we can try, but like I said, I hate to have the epic fail. <laughs> You well, know? we'll epic fail behind the scenes. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, uh, we got to do a few times. You know. Yeah. You know, and I think this is too much fish, actually. Maybe I'll save this for tomorrow. Fish. It's all right, the fish. Because we're not going to eat that. I mean, we're only two people. All right, so this is it. So I'm just going to do these five, six, seven pieces here. And there it is. Bam. So I just rolled it in the rice. and I'm rolling the rice. Rolled it in the um, <laughs> seasoned flour. <laughs> See, we're talking about rice. Dave says, I am 80% made of sticky rice. Oh. <laughs> and then Jimmy says she's going to have sushi tomorrow. Oh, we love, I know, we do enjoy sushi. We, we love sushi. So, and so the other thing with this is you can serve this with lettuce. I have a little bit of red cabbage, um, some onions. I have some peppers, you know, and that's going to be it. And then you can put any kind of sauce you want. So the one sauce that I'm going to make, and I'm going to throw this. If, actually, I'm going to hand this to you. Just throw, you can throw that out. That's done. The arm bar says put a teaspoon of white vinegar in the, in the rice. Oh. It's supposed to make it sti excuse me, sticky. Sticky. Okay. Cool. Now let me just grab a, uh, to grab a thingy. But anyway. Yeah, so that's it. So it's really simple. This is the simplest um, recipe. Oh, Nani May is in. Oh, Nani May. Hey. So I'll come back in and say hello in, in a minute. But yeah, but like I said, our, my night bot's been doing some wackery. So I'm just going to... Oh, and look at that. It's pretty much done. <laughs> wow. That didn't take long. Uh-oh. Get in there. I don't know if you can see the browning, but it's looking good. Get in my belly. Get in my belly. Remember that? Mm -hmm. That was good. I'm on <laughs> No, she said, your husband's so cute. <laughs> And I was like, ooh. <laughs> this um, is sticking a little bit. <laughs> delightful. Oh, ooh, yeah. <laughs> right. mm. He's all right. <laughs> oh, Ashley's in. Ashley, how are you? How are you doing? Huh? Wow. <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to wrap this up. Let's call Mr. Mo. <laughs> Mr. Mo. <laughs> I see All I think of is um, the Three Stooges, uh, which may be apropos. <laughs> uh, yeah, well. Now, do you want cooked onions or raw onions? I think they're raw onions. Oh, okay. Ooh, you're living dangerously. All right. Well, that's what my siblings probably got it from. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in here. I just didn't feel like cutting it today, so I used the stuff in the jar, which is actually okay. It's not the best, but see, we, we killed this jar. But anyway, we'll see what happens. <laughs> and he says, well, LOL, well, you married him, so yes, it'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> we, uh, yeah. He was very convincing. <laughs> Thank you, Noni May. <laughs> I know, but she said that, and then she goes, I think I embarrassed Ashley. And I was like, I think he did, too. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was hilarious. Yes. All right. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. You know. All right. I'm just going to take this off. Boy, this is like the fastest. 
Ooh, this is the fastest thing we've ever made. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop it right there. I think if we cook this anymore, it's going to be good. Cook it. Cook it more. Yeah, it's almost done. Yeah, it's flaking. Yeah, it's done. See, isn't that crazy how fast this is done? Mm -hmm. Yeah, once the fish flakes, that's the whole thing, then it's done. Or you could use a uh, thermometer. I use that sometimes, specifically for the turkey, like on Thanksgiving. I highly recommend it. <laughs> Let me take this off of here. So the other thing is, now do you want corn tortillas or do you want flour? Uh, I'll do the corn. I'll do the corn. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any lime, which is really oh, sad. Oh, we got lime juice. We have lime juice, but this is a, this is the saddest, you know, Mexican uh, situation that we're doing here. <laughs> well, do we have any Mexicans in the group? No, I'm just saying, but we just don't. You know, mm -hmm. it's been kind of sad. The base is a recently distilled coke, one of my faves. Oh, fish, avocado, seasoned cucumber. I love it. Yeah, that that thing you had for lunch looks yeah, so good. Sauce you want. Ooh, that sounds delicious. I know his. I don't know. Did you see his short? No, I missed it. He had a short that was like. No, I didn't watch it. I, I, I showed it to you. I said okay. you got to see this thing. Oh, okay, that's right. We did because it was so yeah. good. <laughs> it looked so good, and I was like, "Where's mine?" Anyway, I'm just taking it off of here. So we'll take this out of here. You may get. Hopefully, it won't get cold, but. To turn him over. This one piece is real fat. Let that go. Mm. But anyway, the fish is done. See, that's the one thing about fish that's good is that when it's cut in small pieces, it's pretty much, it doesn't take long. So this is what I call like fast food. So you can do this in your house and it's beautiful. You know, Friday night delight. Friday, Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. So anyway, there's that. I'm, I'm going to leave him in there. All right. We invited everyone. You need one of those? Yes, I did. Remember? <laughs> Just that, that one with the white in there is good. I'm going to put this aside. There you go. Thank you. That's perfect. All right. So now we're going to do the little sauce. And what we're going to do is we're just going to heat up the uh, tortillas. Just so, and when you heat them, they taste a little, um, like it softens them up and it sort of makes them, like I, when they when they lay in the store, they get kind of, I won't say damp, but it's weird. It just gives them a nice uh, texture. So I'm just going to heat up a couple of these in here. I have it on sort of a low situation. Let's see. Miguel. Is in. Miguel. Who's in there? Oh, friend Michelle. Oh, who the knitter is Brent Brent Michelle. Oh, sorry. Yes. No, no, that's fine. Yeah, who the knitter is Brent Michelle. Hello. And everyone's saying hi. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm heating up the the tortillas just a little bit just to give them a little bit of. Uh... Sorry, Brent. <laughs> I saw who. Somebody I know. He's. We're gonna have to get him. So anyway, I'll show you what we're serving this with though. So we have avocado already cut up. I'm gonna make a little bit of a sauce, and let's see if you can see that. Yep, you can see it. So I have a little bit of Greek yogurt. So there's the Greek yogurt. Just Shelly, hello. So this is just a little bit of Greek yogurt. And uh, the reason why I like the Greek yogurt is it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. Like it doesn't have a like it doesn't have a yogurt flavor. It has more of a sour cream flavor. And it's uh, how many calories in this thing? 15 grams of protein per serving, and the serving is 5.3 ounces. It's 90 calories, which is a lot, but you don't really need a whole lot of this. So anyway, what I'm doing now is I'm just stirring up the uh, yogurt. Hold on. There we go. Stirring up the yogurt. And I'm just putting it in a little container like this. Boom. And then all you do is you mix up the yogurt. And then you add a little bit of, but I'm putting just a tad little bit of seasoned salt in there. Putting a little bit of... Uh, Cayenne pepper. Hopefully it won't burn you. Whoops, it's going to burn you. <laughs> a little bit of turmeric. That's fine. <laughs> a little bit of turmeric. Yeah. Because we're helping uh, getting rid of that in inflammation. Yay. And uh, pepper. Yeah, what the heck. A little bit of pepper. Okay. And I could put some lime juice in there, but that's okay. I think this is good. 
So anyway, so what you what you have is a little bit of a nice uh, sauce. So you can dip your fish in this or use this as a little bit of a, you know, not a garnish, but just a little sauce. And I don't know if you can see, it's got this nice little yellow color. It's hard to see, but it's there. But that's it. And that's all we're going to do. So now I'm just going to plate this and we're done. Can you believe it? <laughs> that's it. So anyway, so what I have to go with it is I have onions. So there's some onions there already cut. And a lot of this, uh, a lot of the restaurants serve it with this purple cabbage, which is very, very good. It's kind of hot. It's got a little bit of a kick. So these are just white onions, nothing really fancy there. Then I have, these are some red peppers. I just cut these up. This is good for, um, what is that called? Vitamin C, all that good stuff. Yep. And then with a little bit of cilantro, which I chopped up. And, and then if he wants cheese, and I think I may have burned the tortillas. These are, they're a little too done, but that's okay. We're passing the cheese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'll put this on another plate. But but anyway, but you heat them through, and it's nice. You know, it gives them just a nice it's, – it's, it sort of softens them up a little bit. So before they were sort of, you know, grainy and dry. Now they're looking pretty good. All right. So let me – Get a better plate for you and I'll give it to you. And then we'll, we'll plate this up and then we're done. I can't believe it. See how fast this goes? It's pretty fast. And that's why I always say, you know, you don't have to buy fast food. You can do this at home. So there's the two. Let's see if I'm in there. Come on. There we go. There we go. So I'm just going to put, let me see if I can keep it in the shot here. I don't like this. These pinchers. These are not my favorites. But anyway, have you guys had, so has anybody, does anybody like fish tacos? I know Nana Michelle does. <laughs> she's a very healthy eater and she's, you know, vegetarian. So anyway, so you put a piece of fish, whoops, on each one. So I dropped it. There we go. She so got a piece of fish on each one. I'm going to put a little bit of sauce. I'm not gonna put too much, but you know it's up to you how you feel, how you're feeling. You know, just a little little splash of sauce there, and uh, let me turn that off. Okay, just a little bit there. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of the. Um, this is a little bit of the um, purple cabbage. So I'm just gonna use the pinchers there. Oops. You can tell me how much. You can put lettuce. I think we skipped the lettuce today. Mm -hmm. A little bit of cilantro. Mm -hmm. Oops. There we go. A little bit on each one. And then, uh, oh, peppers. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a couple peppers. I'm going to get the onions in there. Yep. I'm going to eat the onions. Last piece. And then we're good to go. So anyway, Susan Vincentson. Oh, wow. Good to see you. You have Boucher Street. Boucher. Boucher Street. Yes. Okay. And Michelle Sly Cypher. Yes. Yep. Good to see you, Michelle. Michelle. So anyway, so there it is. It's done. Do you see how fast that was? <laughs> so I, like it. I spent more time talking about the food than I actually did. Now what I'm going to do, oh, I forgot to give you a piece of avocado. Ah. Yeah. Now do you want lettuce? No. Nah. Nah. The, the, the cabbage is much better. I, I, I just washed some lettuce. And, yeah. I, and I like to use uh, whatever that's called. Um, yep, we got the peppers. No, we may got them in there. <laughs> yeah, the red peppers. So this is just a, this is one of those big avocados, and I'm just gonna try to cut the pieces. Hopefully, well, not the end. Says she saw that in the uh, dinners, drive-ins. Oh, dives. diners! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. But there it is. Uh oh, hold on. Let me get it back there. So there it is. It is done. You move. Oh, I went the wrong way. Left is right. There I have to do go. that. Left is right, like Sandy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me see. Get back in there. You got some lime juice too. Yeah, it, it's on, it's on the top of the fridge. I got, no, it's right. Here. Oh no, you you got. It. Okay, here we go. I keep messing this up. Here we go. <laughs> I am really having trouble. Okay, come on, Kelly. Get it in there. It's. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I know this is like this. You 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 feel like like a dummy. There it is. Hold on. Let me get him out the way. Oh my gosh. Come on, Kelly. You can do it. There he is. There it is. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh! Go there it is. Yes, thank you so much. All right, so let's see uh, what uh, Mister I brought. It says how how it tastes. All right, there you go. Thank you. Okay, boy, that was really bad. <laughs> 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 I 
I'm like, wow. Try to do everything backwards. It's hard. And then wait, no, before you do, let me uh, take a picture there. This is good. So I'm very happy. So that's what, so, it, so that's the bottom line. It's pretty healthy. Yeah, you know, uh, what's the, really the fattest, fattiest part of this was actually the yogurt, <laughs> believe it or not. The fish is pretty uh, low in uh, fat and calories and things like that. But, you know, you get all those good minerals. And once again, I'll show you, this is how the fish turned out. It came out this really pretty color. And I'll put that under there. And hopefully, oh yeah, can you take a picture? Just be careful. Okay, you can unplug. Yeah, just no yours, yours, your plate. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just just take just snap a picture, and then we're good. So anyway, there's that. And then what what, what I'll do is I'll get back to the chat, and we'll talk more about the uh, healthy eating because that's the evil plan <laughs> of I bring it every day. But you see that fish looks pretty good, and this is just haddock, you know. And haddock is not real fancy. So you could use haddock, you could use cod, and you can use flounder. And like I said, I wasn't a, f uh, or I mean, you could even do salmon if you want to be fancy, but I would hate to waste salmon on a taco. <laughs> I, I would kind of want to just eat it. You know what I mean? Just myself. So anyway, so there it is. So we just, we just topped it with the, uh, let's see. Anyway, so that, that's it. I mean, oh my goodness. That was, that was easy. <laughs> so anyway, let me just do that. Now, let me get back to the chat. Didn't we have one of those that was easy buttons there? No, we should have. Yeah, we didn't. We haven't had that in a while. So shame on us. Oh, you closed my window. There we go. Let me get back in. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, there we go. So we're back in. And uh, what I'll do is I will, I think I can drop the link. And if people behave, <laughs> if nobody's, <laughs> very, we can talk more about food. And I'll show you just some of the things I'm working on. Oh, thank you. Yes. But anyway, I'll get back to the chat. I want to make sure everybody's in there. Um, so anyway, so I have the members going down in the uh, banner and, uh, let's see, everyone's saying hi to Granny D. Yes. She appreciates it. Oh, nice. Yes. Yes. Hi, Maura Love. Yes. Oh, I, you know, I love your evil plans. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we got Shelly. You're not a yogurt fan. Yes. Had that sauce, the cucumbers. It's good. Yes. So the, um, yogurt, it's interesting. I was not a Greek yogurt fan, but I like it as a sauce. That's like my new thing now. I don't know why. And everyone's saying, hey, and hey, and let me, uh, let me drop the link here and then I'll have to take it out of the chat <laughs> before the crazy people come, but let's see what happens. All right. But anyway, um, the other thing is last week, you know, we talked about like some of the food safety and, and I'll show you just a little bit of, um, found just a few more things I wanted to talk about as well. So I put that in the chat. Let me see. I'm going to go back. we got Angie's Treasures. Good to see you. Yep. Not the end is here. Yes. Very colorful. Yes. And that's the beautiful thing. You know what I mean? It's so easy. And it's pretty. And and it's already gone. <laughs> so it was terrible. You see? He ate it in five minutes. Very festive. Yes. Let's see. Michelle. Yeah, Michelle's here. Good to see you. Darn you, Kelly. Where's mine? I know. I know. Yummy, thank you for making me hungry. <laughs> so you guys can do this. Like, like I said, the bottom line is you guys can do this. Like going to the restaurants, the fast food restaurants are really gross. Like don't do it. You know what I mean? Oh, there's Arnie. Hey, Arnie. You never know who's preparing your food. <laughs> yes. Hi, Kelly. Hi, hey, Arnie. How are you? <laughs> so, uh, are tired. You yes. Been doing, a, been doing a lot in the basement today. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can even come and do ours too. <laughs> no, no, no way. <laughs> no, I, I know. You, you, you're too far away. Well, let's see. So everyone's saying hey to Michelle. We got Shelly. We got Michelle and Shelly. Lots of Michelle's. Yes, it does look yummy. Thank you, Granny D. We're saying hey to Granny D. Looks delicious. Did I miss anybody? I did not. Bless you. And see, oh, you're so welcome. I heard the bell before you disappeared. Got to share my paycheck with someone other than Olivia. Oh, <laughs> oh, Nana Michelle, nice, nice. And everyone's saying, glad you're healing quickly, Christy. Yeah, poor Christy had some rib situations the other week. She broke some ribs. I'm like, girl. <laughs> oh, ouch. I know. I'm like, girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? 
Let's see. Anything else? Did I miss anybody? Hopefully not. Looks great. Thank you, Pixie Stitch. <laughs> okay. Yes. And then that's right. And then Donna said, yeah, Donna's not the end. And she said the, the diners drives. Yeah. I can't even say that title. I have the hardest time saying that title. But uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't stop until I made them too. Yes, they they turned out really good. Yeah, so it's amazing. So like I said, this is so easy. Oh, oh and uh, Jeannie loves cilantro. Yes. Mm, that was okay. But anyway, we lost our camera, but we're good. That was perfect. That was good timing. <laughs> we're good. So anyway, but like I said, um, the superfoods, you know, all the pretty colors, like like stick, you know, stick to these red peppers you know what i mean lots of good nutrition there here's the purple uh lettuce i mean purple cabbage sorry mm -hmm. i keep saying lettuce cabbage so the avocados have that pretty green color you know we got the turmeric which is good for the inflammation you know try to make sure you work with that stuff you know the paprika which is delicious it's actually better even if you put it you know if you heat it up on the stove and then add it to the seasoning. Um, cayenne pepper, you know, or you can use the jalapenos. And I, I've been like cheating with the jalapenos in the jar. And they're actually not that bad. Like this one here, I'll turn it around. But if you take a look, these jalapenos are really good. And they're pretty hot to be pickled. They're like pickled. They're in some kind of brine or whatever. And they're delicious. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and then Jeannie likes cilantro. Yeah, so do we. I love cilantro so much. Okay, and then, oh, okay, so uh, Shelly's saying, just as long as the fish is either caught or salmon, I love fish tacos. Yep, salmon's delicious. It really is. And uh, Michelle likes fish tacos, Michelle Slepper. Yes, and everyone's saying, hey, all right. So wonderful. Yeah, all right. We yeah, got exactly. everybody. Yes. Now, now, what are you having for dinner today, Arnie? Bless you. What's the plan? <coughs> oh, all this stuff that I've been dealing with. Yeah. Well, you were in the basement, so yeah, I could I could understand that. Let's yeah, see. What's I had cheesy broc cheesy broccoli chicken with rice. Oh. oh, okay. That's not too bad. Broccoli's one of those superfoods they say is really good for you, you know. That uh, broccoli's good. Um, uh, <laughs> Granny D said she wants to go to McDonald's. Really? <laughs> and the Happy Meal. Oh, she wants the buckets. <laughs> Their giveaways are kind of cute. Like in the yeah, Happy I'm Meal. with you, Granny D. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Yeah, okay. But you know, the Dollar Tree has some good stuff in there. You you were in there. Yeah, they have awesome stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> and then Nana Michelle said, did you chew? No. He did not. So it was terrible. <laughs> I, I inhale most. You inhale. Time. So that was okay. So the sauce was good? Yeah, it was good. Got a nice little kick to it. Yeah. So I gave you, I didn't kill you with it, but I gave you, you know, just enough to, let's see. And then, uh, let's see, Shelly's saying, I didn't know the Greek sauce with the cucumbers and it had yogurt, but I found that, yeah, it's not bad. I forget what they call it, but I love, like, all the Greek food is, like, a winner. Like, I haven't had a bad Greek meal of any kind yet. Like, there's nothing they don't do well. It's like Greek and Italian. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right, so listen, I'm going to show you one thing here. Let's see, present like Timothy. A. A. Ron. A. A. Ron. <laughs> I'll show you one D thing. Nice. D. Nice. Let's see. All right, so this one here. So let's go back to this one. Hopefully, this will work. Please work. All right. And uh oh, and share. Here we go. All right, here we go. So we talked about food safety, and the main thing is they say. Uh oh, I gotta take down the comment. But what was that? That's the one I said, Jack Quillen. Jack Quillen. <laughs> Jack Quillen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just thought that was the funniest thing. <laughs> he said he was just like he said that when the the guy was from Detroit, and I've never I haven't spent enough time in Detroit to get a good feel. I have family in Detroit and I've been there like many times, but um, he said that all the kids in the school had these really crazy names. And so that's where that sketch came from, where they had the crazy names. But anyway, um, so we talked at last week about how cleanliness prevents foodborne illness. And the key thing is um, 
that you just want to make sure that you separate all those juices. Like you, well, first of all, you want to clean and wash your hands. Let's go here. Clean and wash your hands. Services often. You want to separate and you don't want to cross contaminate. So if you have like a meat on a cutting board, you don't want to use the same cutting board that had raw meat juices with your veggies because it's going to um, contaminate. And then the other thing is you want to cook to the proper temperature, whatever it is. And most cookbooks will tell you what the correct temperature for like cooking a ham, a turkey, fish, things like that. And then when yeah. you're done, you chill and you refrigerate promptly, which, you know, that's that's like it, like it's kind of common sense, but yet I remember in, in my in my old house with my older relatives, they would leave food on the stove all day, you know, and then we'd go and eat it. And I'm surprised we never got sick. <laughs> and it wouldn't be cooking, you know what I mean? It was just kind of they would cook it, it was done, and we would just go and get some. Yeah. So that's probably not so good. But and then they say wash your hands with warm soapy water for 20 seconds before and after handling food, after using the bathroom, changing a diaper, handling pets tending to a sick person, blowing your nose, coughing or sneezing, or handling uncooked eggs or raw meat or fish in, you know, in their juices. So, and then they say, if you have any kind of abrasion or cut on your hand, wear disposable gloves and even wash your hands, whether you're wearing disposable gloves or not. Like how many times did I wash my hands today? <laughs> like four or five times. Mm -hmm. It was too much. Like now my hands are like sandpaper. And then they just say use hot soapy water to wash the uh, cutting board when you're done. And then don't use the same platter or utensils that have the raw product on it. So if you have like fish or meat, don't don't reuse that to serve it on, you know, unless you wash the whole thing, you know what I mean? And then just make sure you use, now this is something that I never thought about and I saw this today, number six. They say when using a food thermometer, it's important to wash the probe after each use with hot soapy water, even before you reinsert it in the food. And I said, uh oh, <laughs> did I do that? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like I never really thought about, but this is what they recommend. And then they say, you know, keep household chemicals and cleaners and stuff away from food and services used for food. Because, you know, like a lot of those uh, cleaners have some crazy chemicals. And I'm not talking about bleach I'm just or, or, you know, like a comet cleanser, something with bleach. But like all the other ones have all these exotic organic compounds in there for cleaning. And you really don't want to ingest that in your body. So, so, so these are just some things, you know, that you want to make sure that you think about. And then, and then it goes on. Um, this is the USDA.gov um, website. and I have the link in the description and this particular page is just talking about food safety. But the other thing that they mentioned too, was that the, um, the kitchen sink gets really, really dirty. And so if you cook in there and have any food with ju meat juices or things like that, you want to make sure you clean it before you put anything else in the sink or whatever. So just some little things that I just wanted to follow up on that are sort of continuing the uh, journey from last week. And then just, you know, picking the really good, healthy choices for yourself. But anyway, so that's that. That's the only thing I wanted to show you guys. And like I said, I have the links to the description. And uh, I don't know what, what you're thinking. I'm going to go back to the chat and let's see what's going on. All right. So anyway, that's where we are. So we're just trying to eat healthy a little bit. You know, I mean, and we, and we do chat. Yeah. Like now and again, we eat a little... Um, like the one thing my, my husband likes, we, we like Snickers. Like, it's like weird. I have to have one. <laughs> like, like every, like once a week or every other week, I need like a Snickers. And that's the one thing I have, I have to get, I have to stop eating. Yeah, it's bad. And so, um, but yeah, but we're sending healing prayers to Yarn Bar for Christy. Okay. And what was super easy to grow? I missed it. I don't know. Cucumbers, I think. Uh, oh, cucumbers. Some, yeah. Oh, no, okay. and, uh, eggplants. Oh, they eggplant. Yeah, they are easy to grow. And also zucchini. Mm -hmm. I remember like we had yeah. so much zucchini and we didn't even try. <laughs> we had tried. We got any. Kelly. Oh, <gasps> Kit Kat. And what else? What's that? Hershey's? <laughs> okay. Like you're in the, you're in the naughty chair. The naughty chair. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Of, I mean, I hope that's for Halloween candy. Is that Halloween candy? Yeah, I just every Halloween. Halloween every so often, I'll take a piece out and munch on it. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Wow. That's a lot. Mm. <laughs> you see me, I'm like, that's a lot. <laughs> I, have, I have a couple of containers sitting right here. Oh, wow, Arnie. Okay. See, where I'm telling you, Doc. Well, Arnie. <laughs> that, that was one, one big keeping bag. Yes. Okay. So you just got one bag. Okay. I was scared. I saw that. I went, whoo, that's a lot. He was crocheting. No, he was not crocheting. <laughs> so uh, Shelly likes broccoli. She says it's yummy. Very good. Hoping to get four different buckets. Oh, so they have a, see, we, we, we don't watch TV, so we miss all these commercials. Like, we have no idea what's going on in the world. And now Dave's hungry. <laughs> yes, Greek food. You grew up eating it. You're lucky, Christy. Yeah, see, my family did. Jay Quill, Jay Quill, and I say, <laughs> yeah, my family just like they were boring with the food. That's why I'm kind of a foodie now. Okay, Bonnie said she's worked for Greeks for 35 years. Always went there to party their parties. Yeah, I bet that was good food. Oh, tzatziki is a Greek sauce. Yep, I forget how you spell it, but I know what you're saying. Spelling's in there. Oh, there, oh, yeah, oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good stuff. I made that one week. It's pretty easy, but you know what's interesting. The supermarket actually had it in a little tub, which I was shocked that they actually had that. I was like, really? I just saw it like two days ago. Yeah, I love that cucumber sauce. That's right. That's what Granny D's saying. And you're, oh, Lydia's leaving me. <laughs> okay, thanks for coming, Lydia. Appreciate the super chat. Yes. Okay, we'll catch you. And then everyone's saying, so delish. Yes. Anna Michelle. Yep. Me too. She likes the, the cucumber. Yep. And then... <laughs> Someone's saying I'm doing it all wrong, lol. And you have different color plastic cutting boards. There you go. This Shelly said for different meat. Example, green is for pork, blue for beef, and so on. That's that's a good idea. Yeah, and we used to use the same old wooden cutting board for everything <laughs> back in the day. I'm surprised we didn't get sick, honestly. Because you know, we we I mean we cleaned it, but you know, like I don't think people really knew what was happening. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. That, that was brain farting on the name of the yummy cucumber sauce. Yep. Yeah, correct spelling. Yep. Thank you so much. Yeah, you just spelled it for years. Yeah. And, and if you had Greek friends, yeah, I'm sure. And this is what's in it. Okay. Like an egg lemon soup. I'm not going to try to say that the way they do. Yes. Peanut butter Snickers, the best. Really? <laughs> I don't know. I think I did get those one time in Ollie's. Ollie's had them. Interesting. That soup sounds yummy. That's what Nana Michelle's saying to Bonnie. Peanut butter Twix, even better. Wow. And the whole time I thought he was crocheting. Ah, uh, yeah, not today. <laughs> super chat, super chat. You got another super chat. Oh, there it is. Oh, and who's that from? Is that Arnie? Yes, it was. Yay. You got one from Shelly. And Shelly, yay. Right, let's put you up. Okay, I'll get to do it. So we'll do this one. Keep smiling. Thank you, Shelly. Keep shining, knowing you can always count on me for sure. That's what Arnie is for. <laughs> in, good times, in bad times, I'll be on your side forevermore. That's what friends are for. <laughs> oh, okay. Good one, May. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Oh, oh, most Greeks eat some weird food. I never walk into the parties and just eat stuff because I don't know what they're eating. They eat a lot of lamb. <laughs> Oh, and then, oh, humongous bags of, hold on, Halloween candy, knowing we, oh, yeah, we rarely have trick-or-treat. Yes. See, he's saying, oh, I need it for the kids, but we know the truth. Yes. Let me see. And then, uh, Shelly, thank you so much for the super sticker. So let me see. I'm going to try this again. So thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. <laughs> Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. <laughs> Wait a minute, what is he doing? Yeah, yeah hold on. I, I, I was like, not sure what the, my dude is. Yeah, oh, the turtle. Yeah, he looks very. Uh... The, uh, no, that's not a turtle. The, the dude doing the little. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. The, is he drinking something? I. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> anyway, thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Sorry, that's pretty. I know when she said that, I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> and see, Monty worked in a Greek restaurant for thirty-five years. Wow. wow. Let me tell you, it's not easy working for a Greek, but I did it. And I have thick skin. Lol. Okay. Yeah. See, I know running a restaurant is not easy. And then uh, Christy said, "I haven't had Greek food since 
my Tia De Demetria, 2012. I went to visit and she made sure to make, okay, now how do you say that? Pastio. It's like Greek mac and cheese with ground beef in it. Mm, she's hot. Wow. So see, that that's that good food. Yeah, see, they're eating right. <laughs> Working out maybe? Yeah. Well, I know they walk a lot in Greece. But anyway, thank you guys so much for the support of the channel. Like I always um, say, like, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. You know what I mean? Yep. So you said you thought he was crocheting. It's weird to be raised in a Greek family with Greek food, but I never had heard of tzatziki. Yeah, it's so good in Chicago. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, see, Bonnie left Chicago, so she doesn't get too many people. But let's see. So I think I got that. Good one, Moses. <laughs> let's see. Anything else? He's sucking the youth out of that other creature. <laughs> nice. Ooh. When you figure out what he's doing, let me know. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to watch the replay on that one and see. And then uh, Nana, Nana Michelle saying yarn barf. I love pastio. I found a vegetarian version one time in the store, and they never carried it again. It was so good. See, that's yeah. Unless you hate that, yeah. And oh, your your dad had two restaurants. Wow. Wow. See, that's brave. Yeah, see, we never, you know, you're leaving me? Okay, Ashley, well, thanks for coming in. Good to see you. Hi, Ashley. And everyone's saying bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there it is. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, and I caught up with the chat. <laughs> but anyway, so these are all the supporters on the channel, so thank you so much. And uh, members and things like that. And then um, I think maybe I'll run this thing while we're here. Greeks yell a lot. Oh, <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah. We, okay. And you yelled right back. And then, uh, <laughs> she did it better that time. Let me see if I can. Um, yeah, there's a Greek restaurant that's near me shutting down because oh. no one in the family wants to take it over. Yes. Yeah, that's too bad. Uh, you know, but I understand that it's it's too hard. Like, it's kind of hard to run a uh, restaurant. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I understand that. But let me see if I can do this. I'm going to show this one thing here. Okay. Uh oh, is I'll that the cat? You up. I hear the cat talking. Can your cat sing? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hang on. Now, let's see. Jesus Christ. Oops, bye. Like <laughs> okay, karate, uh, karate chop that like button. Hold on. Yes, that's it. All right. And then let me do this. If I can get this in here. Uh-oh. Kitty. Wait, I'm going to show this real quick. <laughs> While the cat. Let me let me take this. Um, I'm gonna I just want to thank everybody for their um for their for their uh, support. Let me take down this comment. Oh, come on, Kelly. I got bad fingers here. Hang on. So these are these are. This is just about everybody. <laughs> it's everybody who's like contributed to the channel over my um, short monetization. So it's pretty exciting. So I just like want to thank everybody who's been um, okay you know, like that. And these are all the members. So thank you guys so much for coming in and for supporting the channel. And uh, you know it's been kind of interesting, you know. <laughs> Anyway, but it's been a, but thank you so much. And that's all I, you know, I want to make sure I let everybody know about that. All right. So let me hide that. Okay. So take this down and hide. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> so now what are you doing for, are you, are you going on after this, Arnie? Oh, just joined. She did? Oh. Garnet. Okay. Have a garnet. Oh, there she I'm is. Not really, not really sure. I might go down in the basement a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, I understand. I know. Sitting on YouTube all night. I don't know how you guys do it. You and Noni. I'm like, I'm sitting there and I'm going, I am so tired. You guys are like cranking yourself. You know, it's amazing what you do. But anyway, here's Shelly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for becoming a YouTube member from the I Bring It Every Day channel. And uh, I'll add you to my list there. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. <laughs> and um and like I said, I'll be, uh, you got to tell me like what your future, I know Shelly sort of stepped away from YouTube a little bit, but she's been coming back. So I'm re really happy to see her. It's all our Noni's. Her birthday, too. Oh, it is. Oh, that's right. 
Ooh. And Mara's been with us for three months. She's been, oh, there we go, Mara. Wow, that's wow. crazy. Thank you, Miss Mara. Yeah, I, I enjoy, um, We I do like garnets. Somebody was talking about garnets. Oh, it was on, um, it was that lady from Canada that had that had the jewelry. And people were like, what's a garnet? I'm like, ah, like I, I, I'm like, me, 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 I can show you. <laughs> but I couldn't, I couldn't, um, I couldn't do it on that particular day. You know, I didn't want to bug their show, but yeah. I do like, I do like garnets. And I have a few of those too. Popcorn ball. Where, okay, Arnie. <laughs> Where did you get that? <laughs> well, Walmart had these. I just had oh, okay. taste for them. So I got them like a couple weeks ago. Yes. Oh, wow. Well, thank you so much, Miss Mora. And thank you. <laughs> thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you for being a friend. <coughs> Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> the little heart. I can't do that heart thing. <laughs> oh, you're Sapphire. Now, Sapphire is fancy. Now, I do have a couple of those, and I had to pay out the wazoo for those. Yeah. Oh. Mara, mm -hmm. Mara's a sapphire. Yeah, she's sapphire. And, and emotion, good to see you. Thank you so much for coming. Yes. <laughs> and, she, and Shelly said it's, it's a blitz. the bloodstone. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. Yeah. Now, I heard, no, here's a little, here's a fun fact I heard, that a lot of the uh, rubies in the uh, royal, what's that called? You know where they have all those stones in their in the crowns and all that? Yeah. That are fake, like they're um they're uh, actually garnets, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and they're like, oh yeah, because garnets are really easy to find, and rubies are a lot more difficult to find a good one, and the good ones cost a lot. Same thing with the sapphires; they're they're pretty pricey. But I used to be into jewelry, and so I sort of know a little bit of those fun facts. Crown jewels, there we go. The crown jewels. Okay. The crown jewels. There's a bunch of them, and they're all garnets. And I saw them, I was like, that's a garnet. <laughs> and then they said, yeah, they're they're garnets. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, there's that. But anyway, emotion saying, hey. The winter next performance emotion. He, he does some live music too, which is pretty cool. But anyway, we, we finished dinner in an hour. I can't believe that never happens. That's usually like my plan is to, to do that. But anyway, so any, 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 any last words, Arnie, that you want to tell the people? <laughs> Not last words, but you know, <laughs> final words for today. No, I can't think of anything at the moment. I just mm -hmm. hope everyone has a good evening and all that. Yes, yes, awesome. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and that's the thing. I, you know, I, I will say, um, we lost. Uh, did we lose volume? We lost the uh, audio on on Arnie. Oh, we lost Arnie. Oh, see, I can hear him fine. Oh no, his audio is gone. Oh, okay. On the computer? You mean me? Yeah. On your computer. I was hearing him, but I don't hear him now. No, no, he's he's fine. Oh. Yeah, no, he's fine. Arnie's fine. Oh, I okay. can hear him. He's great. Also, Sapphire. Yeah, that's um September, I think, right? Mm -hmm. I think Sapphire September. Yes, Serena. Yep. Is everyone saying hi to Emotion? Yeah, Emotion's got great music on his channel. Check him out. And um, Nightbot's not working, <laughs> which is terrible today. <laughs> oh, well. But, um... But anyway, check him out. If you search, I can't remember the best way to search for your name because there's a lot of thing with emotion on the um, channel. But um, let's see if I can maybe drop his link. Uh, on, what happened? I got it. I, I got oh. it. Oh, okay. Oh, Arnie's got it. Okay. okay. That's cool. Yep. Oh, channel share. Yep. He's he's got it. Yeah. He he's fast. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Come on, phone. You know, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just like, uh. Yep. Oh, you, oh okay. Oh, so you'll be live midweek. Okay. So he just did a video. Cool. Yeah. He does some good stuff. Yep. Nightbot got the boot. <laughs> yeah, night. Well, he, yeah. Mm. Dave. Dave. <laughs> Emotion New Soul. That's it. Yeah. Emotion New Soul, if you search that. Yep. Okay. But, but anyway, he, he got it. I think that's it. Yep. And that's the link there. Nightbot got the boot. Yeah, it's it's weird. And so, um, but anyway, but like I said, these are all the people down here on the ticker, you know, that have really helped out over the last, because I've only been monetized since like January. 
So, uh, well, it's almost nine months, 10 months. You're welcome, Emotion. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's good to have a moderator. Moderators are great. That can help you out, you know, when uh, things go awry. It's always good. Mm -hmm. But uh, but anyway, but that's really all I have for you guys. I'll, I'll see you actually tomorrow. The only little announcement that I have, and I'm very afraid, is um, I'm doing a sale with uh, Melanie's Crochet uh, tomorrow. And I'm just, I'm divesting of some of my crafting books and things. So if you're into any of that, it's uh, 3 p.m. Eastern. I don't know till when, <laughs> but however long it takes. You know, I have some books and some yarn and some crochet needles and things like that. I mean, crochet hooks and knitting. Will needles. you stop knocking things over? How, how is the cat doing anyway? Oh, okay. So, oh, so Shelly does already belong. That's good. That's why I thought Shelly really used to come to the, sh to the music shows. Yep. That's good. Layla's being sassy as usual, checking yeah. things out and she knocks them over. Now, did she, now, is he, is she writing any, any, well, I saw she was writing in Lydia's chat yesterday. <laughs> music yeah, music. I set the phone down. She likes to lay on the phone. Yes. <laughs> you see, I have that tool. But I guess being gone has its downside. Yep, that's it exactly. Yep. So anyway, so there we go. So everybody's yeah, yeah, at least connected. Because I think everybody else sort of knows everybody else, more or less. Yeah, I think he's the only newish one. And let's see. Samoan mm -hmm. Watchmen. Oh, I see. I, oh, I meant to say hi to Debbie. I forgot to say hey to Debbie. Just going back through real quick. Oh, pistachio. Hmm. Yeah, the fat finger in the screen. Yeah, I know. I've done that. Oh, let's see. I think I spelled it better next time, Bonnie. I have a 60-year-old Greek cookbook called Can the Greeks Cook? Really? <laughs> That's the question? Yeah, like, yes. <laughs> yes, they can. <laughs> in the yellow. Okay, good. All right, so there we go. I think I got everybody in there. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We got it. All right. So anyway, so once again, you know, I appreciate you, your time and I appreciate you enjoying the, I hope you enjoyed the show. And I hope you, you know, like I said, try, try your best to uh, keep eating, you know, buy locally if you can, you know, go to those butcher shops because you're going to get really, really fresh food. Yep. And thank you so much, Angie. Yeah. Try to go for that fresh food, fresh as you can. You know what I mean? Eat those, yeah. pretty, get those pretty green vegetables, those pretty uh, colored vegetables and things like that. And, um, you know, and then once again, I'm just going to say thank you again. We're just going to do it one more time. And I thank you all so much for coming. And I'm just going to run the uh, run the thank you to everybody who's helped the channel. Curvy. Oh, Curvy Key's here. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. But anyway, I'm thanking um, all the supporters of the channel. And uh, thank you so much for coming in. I really, you know, she's one of my newer people that pops in. And uh, I appreciate you guys all coming in. And, and these are all people who've been great supporters in the YouTube world, uh, with, especially with the crochet community. And then these are most of my members. I have to add a couple of things in there. But that's everybody who's, um, you know, who's been really helping out. Let me turn that off there. But yeah, there it is. Uh-oh, oh, there's the cat. <laughs> oh, motion just sent you a super sticker. Oh, he did. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hold on. Let me take this down. <laughs> But anyway, thank you all. And then emotion. <laughs> That's awesome. Ooh, super cigarette. Yes. Yep. It is. And let me put it, let me put that on the screen. Hang on. And bam. Oops, I forgot to hide the banner. Hold on. Hide the banner. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> and yarn barf sent you. Yeah, she by me once we picked up. Here we, go. Here we go. Let's go back. Hide. Okay. There we go. Hide. Why won't this hide? Hold on. Sorry, y'all. My, my, my fingers are bad. Hide, 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 and hide. Oh, my goodness. Brand. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. All right, let's go back. Here we go. Comments. And thank you guys so much for the super sticker. Oh, my goodness. Super chat. That's awesome. So this from Emotion. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So thank you for being a friend, Mystery Motion and Yarn Barf, our Christy, and I, I and I hope you stay on the mend also, and keep smiling. 
Keep shining, knowing you can always count on me. For sure, that's what friends are for. In good times and bad times, keep me on your side forevermore. That's what friends are for. And that's what friends are for. <laughs> Thank you for the kiss. Oh, and the kiss for Lizzie. <laughs> it's the kitty for me, Arnie. <laughs> that's what Christy's saying. Yes, and emotions looking, and I'm like, what, what what's going on there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> super chat, super. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, the cat is cute. Yeah, she she usually like types in the chat. <laughs> and it's usually X5735347. X C. <laughs> so that's a, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, she. Oh, yeah, we have a little text in the chat whenever she can. She really does. That, that's hysterical. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bonnie. But anyway, you guys have a good weekend. You know, if you, if you want to buy some craft stuff, come to Melanie's Crochet. And uh, tomorrow at 3 Eastern. And then I'll see you, you know, around the, the YouTube streets. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. All right. So anyway, well, we'll, we'll, we'll wave. And we'll bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs> Take care.